Dallas must stop pet stores from selling dogs. The Humane Pet Store Ordinance under consideration by the Dallas City Council is a direct response to the host of animal welfare and consumer protection problems created by the sale of puppy mill puppies in pet stores. Its approval would end this practice and lead people toward better and more humane choices for acquiring dogs, such as rescue and shelter adoption or the acquisition of an animal from a small-scale responsible breeder. In taking this step, Dallas would dissociate itself completely from the influx of puppies from faraway mass breeding facilities that treat mother dogs like nothing more than machines and their puppies as mere products. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. Dallas is the only major city in Texas without a policy concerning puppy mill puppies and pet stores. 10 other cities in Texas and 400 localities and 5 states across the nation have addressed the problem. That includes Houston, where the city council recently approved a similar ordinance. These communities acted for the same reasons Dallas should. It's simply time that we shut off the puppy mill to pet store pipeline to do right by animals, protect consumers and provide needed support and morale to overwhelmed shelters and rescue groups. All across America, the sale of puppies in retail stores, once common, is falling out of favor. Among other factors, the responsible federal agency has shown time and again that it cannot hold commercial breeders to humane standards. The U.S. Department of Agriculture regulations allow breeding dogs to spend their entire lives in cramped filthy wire cages only six inches larger than their bodies. Mother dogs can be bred repeatedly until their bodies wear out, at which time they are disposed of like trash. Even worse, when breeders fail to meet these most basic standards, they are rarely penalized with any degree of severity. In the last four years, the USDA has only revoked one breeder license. Responses to the public records requests made by my organization demonstrate that puppies born in such disturbing conditions do end up in Dallas. These records tell the stories of hundreds of dogs confined to decrepit cages, dogs forced to stand on painful wire flooring, dogs exposed to extreme temperatures, and dog breeders ignoring serious veterinary concerns. It's time for Dallas to do its part to stop this cruelty and pass the Humane Pet Store Ordinance. This commonsense policy is supported by dozens of local animal welfare organizations and Dallas area veterinarians who regularly treat pet store puppies. It is also supported by disappointed consumers who want to make sure no other family suffers the heartbreak theirs did after they unknowingly bought sick puppies, some of whom died shortly after purchase from the pet store. The marketplace will take over once the Humane Pet Store Ordinance is enacted, leading the local pet market and Dallas consumers toward more humane sources like shelters and rescues, which truly need our support right now, and toward responsible breeders who only sell directly to the public and never through pet stores. We can and should accelerate the transition of our city's only puppy selling pet store to a humane business model that focuses on pet products and services, the very model that has already been adopted by the most successful players in the pet industry.